just a few days, two of Pittsburgh's most prominent artists will share their spray painting skills with the public through a special workshop. It's happening in Swickley. We're so happy to be joined by Shane Pilster and Max Gonzalez of the Do What We Love initiative, dowhatwelove.com. Thanks so much for coming out here. Oh, thanks for having us. And you've already been working on this amazing mural that yeah. says KDKA here, we should mention. Yeah, we started this maybe just a half hour ago. So we got, we got started. We'll outline it in the time that we're here. And then the left half is myself, right half is Shane. So just some live collaboration. And I know that the collaboration is a big thing of what you guys love to do and really opening up this art form and platform in a way that may not get people in trouble, we should say. But tell us about the workshop that you have coming up. So yeah, we actually have a collaborative project with Sweetwater Center for the Arts on Wednesday. Um, it's sold out, but at six o'clock, it'll be open to the public. So from six to seven, people can come in and work on this large, similar banner to this. It's not gonna be saran wrap, but it'll be uh, vinyl. So it'll actually stay at Sweetwater. So everyone can come through, collaborate, um, work with us and learn some more about like the history, culture, and just kind of ask us questions about the whole I guess background and process of the graffiti world. Well, I was so fortunate to be able to talk with both of you before the gallery crawl yeah. and the cultural trust. Um, and you guys were working on another class at that point. And, and we really talked about how we're trying to open this up more to be an accepted art form. And, and that's right. a big part of what you do. Right, yeah, we've been with Rivers of Steel. We started a program about 10 years ago. Um, we have plenty of workshops and classroom. Uh, we work in classrooms, we do a lot of education stuff. We started another program called Hiccup, which is Hemispheric Conversations Urban Art Project. All of them are things that we bring in other artists. We have collaborations, we do workshops with the youth, with the public, and a lot of it is all education-based and kind of like our experience and just uh, you know the history of graffiti and its culture going back to 60s, 70s, and uh, as you can see, it goes pretty quick, which is uh, a lot of fun to do in a lot of ways that uh, we, like in our workshops, we show people how to use a can, like the difference in paint, different caps, how there's like different nozzles you can use. Uh, actually in, on Saturday, this Saturday at Rivers of Steel, um, with, at the Cary Furnaces, there's another workshop going on from uh, one to 3.30, which you can go on riversofsteel.com to their events page and see, you can sign up for it. It's not too expensive and it's, uh, It'll probably just be me leading it because Max loves to go out of town. Oh. <laughs> You're busy. Um, so Max, tell me about the, the class that's, that's being held on Wednesday. It sold out really quickly. What do you think that says about the love of this art form? Yeah, I mean, especially in an area like Swickley, that's pretty impressive. Um, not an area known for its urban arts. Uh, but yeah, so it's it has sold out, but after the first half hour, it will be open to the public and there's already a lot of public interest. Um, but that's kind of like the main point of what we do with graffiti is just try to open it up to the public as much as possible and try to create some community dialogue so that people can go to these events, meet a real graffiti artist, a real mural artist, uh, and ask those questions that they've always been wondering. Um, yeah, and we don't really begin to have the better relationship with the community until we have those open sessions and we have that level of trust. And how do you think that it's changed since you've been doing this? Yeah, so I've been in Pittsburgh for about 11 years now, um, and definitely it has changed a lot in the way of like a viable art form as far as a career. Uh, myself and Shane are two full-time muralists, um, and I definitely don't think that would have been possible uh, maybe like even five years ago. It, it just has uh, allowed a lot more people who have spray paint skills to enter into this field and to make a career out of it. You mentioned River of Steel, both of you, um, and just how you're you're working with them, helping to open this up to more people and offer more classes and sessions. Yeah, um, although we are full-time muralists, uh, we still feel a need to give back to the communities that we create our art in. Um, so we're always doing different types of workshops. At Rivers of Steel, there are always um, workshops where we give you a site tour and at the end you do get to spray paint with us. Uh, we do tons of summer camps, so at the moment we're doing Art in the Garden in East Liberty and Rankin Christian Center in Rankin. Um, so yeah, we're always looking for other schools to participate with and even if it's not ourselves, we have a whole group of other friends that we are trying to make those initiatives uh, happen through. And your it, motto, it seems like, your website too, do what we love, I mean, is that something you want to live by? Yeah, I mean, it's um, 
work should not only be something that uh, you have to bear with or have to just uh, feel fine with. Sometimes work should be play. Um, and it, it, that's not to say that what we do is easy. It is very strenuous. Uh, but um, we are trying to allow the arts to be a a, a job. Uh, we're trying to get rid of that stigma of the starving artist uh, or that a graffiti artist is only a vandal. Thank you guys so much. This is fantastic. Look at this. I don't know if I've ever seen our call letters written out in spray paint, but it is awesome to see. Shane and Max, thank you. And remember, we're going to have more information if you want to head to the public part of this session on Wednesday. Head to kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.